<clears throat> well, yes, that is a Crown Royal cap. Turns out they fit. I refuse to drink from plastic. <laughs> Who else does this? I can't be the only one. <laughs> there we go. That's not enough. But it'll get me by. I'm not joking. Crown roll cap. Because I got drunk and lost the other one. Fun fact, I also use that funnel for reloading ammunition. And this one. It's a funnel that I just kind of taped and melted a... 6.5 millimeter casing onto this way I can really get stuff into casings nice and easily Clear this crap out of the way Tope rev rest of that crap so I've recently hit 1,000 subscribers It's about goddamn time <laughs> uh, How many hundreds of videos do I have on this YouTube channel and I finally hit a thousand there's people out there who have like two videos and get, you know, several million views on their videos. I was not one of those people. I had to spend, I don't know how many tens of thousands of dollars and guns and equipment and whatnot to get myself to the point of having a thousand subscribers. Of course, I also never, ever, ever thought that I would get to this point. Like, whenever I started the channel, I was just like, hey, I'm doing all this stupid nonsense anyway. Uh, may as well record it uh, and throw, throw it up on the internet. I remember watching a video of Iraq 8888, or Iraq veteran 8888, and uh, that's what he was talking about, how he just kind of started recording what he was doing on a normal basis, and that's kind of what I started doing. <laughs> I was blowing shit up in my yard, and I was like, hey, let's throw this on YouTube. Well, now I'm at a thousand subscribers, and holy crap, guys, I can't express how much I'd like to thank you guys. I can't believe I made it to a thousand subscribers. The road getting up here was extremely long, but I did not care about the subscriber count until I got to about 990 subscribers. Once I got to 990... Like, I, I watched <laughs> every single minute of every single day. I turned on notifications and whatnot on my phone just so I could pay attention to how many subscribers I got until I hit that thousand mark. Because at that point, I was excited. I was like, holy crap, I'm doing it. This is a real thing. 1,000 subscribers. And although I was extremely excited for that, I was, like, also extremely fearful i guess i would I, i'm i'm gonna say here uh i was also like extremely fearful and extremely doubtful of myself i thought to myself that i was putting out some really good content and then like just i got into my own head and i was like nah they're not gonna like it i promise they're not gonna like it they're gonna hate everything about this uh so i was like really really careful on the stuff that i was starting to put out there I gotta, I gotta have some whiskey and calm down here, cause I'm, I'm still very excited for it. Thank you guys, but I was very much in my own head, convincing myself that people would not like the content that I was putting out. Uh, I don't know why people have liked the content that I've stuck out so far, for the most part, uh, but I just convinced myself that what I was putting out wasn't as good as it should be despite the fact that I was having a ton of fun and whatnot. And I remember, like, I had, like, 996 subscribers. And I was talking to one of my fellow Gun Channel collaborators. And I was like, yeah, man, <laughs> the, the numbers are going up steadily, and I have exactly what I need to do tonight to hit that subscriber, the 1,000 subscriber mark. And I, I was just, like, so excited. I was like... This is the night. I even, like, tried pulling an all-nighter, waiting for it to happen. I had four subscribers to go before I hit that thousand mark. And I uploaded my Tracer unboxing video, uh, American Marksman, I think it was. And I didn't gain four subscribers. <laughs> I lost four subscribers that night. <laughs> and I just remember, like, like hating myself. Like, oh, God, they, 
they hated the video, the Tracer video. I thought it was really cool. And people people are buying that ammo because it's one of the cheaper 762 by 51 rounds that you can get. And the, the video is getting plenty of views, definitely more views than a lot of my other videos get. But I was just being so hard on myself because I just, I, I thought people didn't like it. I was like, oh God, I'm losing subscribers and I'm losing them fast. Uh, I don't think I've ever uploaded a video where I've lost four subscribers like that so quickly. But like, in the grand scheme of thing, things, four subscribers is not anything, especially when you have your eyeball on a thousand. But just at that moment, I was so excited to the point to where I was staying up all night, waiting and watching for this thing to happen, because I was convinced it was going to happen. And I went the opposite direction, and man, it really did upset me. Now that I have people actually watching these videos, I actually get into my head pretty often uh, about people not liking the things that I put out. And I actually have a whole lot <laughs> of videos that I've recorded that I haven't even bothered uploading uh, just because I know people aren't going to like it. Like, if I upload it, they're, they're either full of repetition, they're slow or tedious, uh, it's more like information-based stuff versus uh, entertainment-based stuff. I'll probably lose subscribers if I upload those things, especially if the Tracer unboxing uh, lost subscribers. But I've been at the thousand subscriber mark now for a little while, and I don't, like, whenever, whenever I made my 500 subscriber count video, I had, like, this badass compilation, and then I had, like, a heart-to-heart -heart talk for my 800 subscriber uh, compilation, or it wasn't even a compilation, for my 800 subscriber video. And I had no idea what I was going to do for my 1,000 subscriber video. Because that's a big deal. That marks whenever you're an actual, you know, YouTuber. That marks when when what you're doing actually means something. When have you hit that 1,000 mark. And because of that, I decided to go ahead and give some shout-outs to some of my fellow gun channels that I've been talking to and having fun with over on uh, my Discord servers. And I figured I'd go ahead and give them a little shout-out, see if I can help them reach 1,000 subscribers, or for the ones that have already reached 1,000 subscribers perhaps get them a little further on. Not only that, but if you guys like watching my stuff, you're probably going to like watching their stuff too. Only because I like watching their stuff, and I base a lot of my stuff off of what I enjoy. So, you guys will have fun with that stuff. I will link every single one of these YouTube channels down below, <laughs> along with, you know, I was going to put like a little description of them down below as well. But I think I'll just let you guys figure out what these people are all about. You know what? No, never mind. They're they're in my circle. You guys know exactly what these people are all about. All right, first shout out. I have no idea how to pronounce this guy's name, so I'm just gonna spell it. T F U S I L I E R forty four. T full sealer forty four. I apologize that if I if I butchered that man. But this guy deserves so many more subscribers than what he has, man. The amount of refurbishments that this guy does and the quality of his refurbishments, like, greatly, greatly, greatly surpass anything that I have been capable of doing myself normally. Normally because I'm too busy doing this. The link for his channel is down in the description below. He does unboxings of old military surplus and checks them out and disassembles them, cleans them up, gets them looking really, really good, way better than what I normally do. Of course, I normally don't get things that are that ran into the ground. I prefer things that I can pick up ammo for at, you know, 60 cents a round, which unfortunately is like nothing right now in 2020. Next up, this guy right here deserves some serious recognition. 8mm Mauser Man. This guy right here definitely knows exactly what he's talking about. He's got an extremely vibrant personality. And he's got... What am I trying to say here? The way he explains things 
is not only informative, but it's also extremely entertaining. Not only that, but he's a gun channel that not only talks about guns, he also goes out and shoots guns as well. He needs, like, way more subscribers than what he has. Like, he is... The amount of uh, professional work, the editing, and the... I don't know if it's scripting or not, but he definitely has some idea of what he's talking about whenever he goes into these videos. The amount of effort that he puts into his videos... <laughs> definitely, definitely more effort than I put into my videos. Hell, I'm over here with a uh, three-fourths bottle of Evan Williams sitting in my trailer. I should probably get my toaster away from my ammunition. Oh, I'm out of ammunition. That's right. There's there's a shortage going on. <laughs> Check out 8mm Mazer Man. His description or his the link for his channel is down below. I haven't even started drinking. Why the hell am I stuttering so much? I guess I'm just that tired. Dave Maximilian, this guy is a, <laughs> a fireball, I guess I'm going to say. Oh, he's fun to watch. He doesn't put out content nearly as much as I'd like, but he's just started doing it again, and he definitely deserves a shout-out. The stuff he has up, very interesting, very informative. Uh, just go check it out. He's a, he's a really fun guy. Really, really interesting guy to watch. Alright, I have got to say the slogan to introduce this guy. Guns, guns, gear, and guns with Gary Gunderson. If that is actually this guy's last name, Jesus Christ, dude, I am as jealous as it gets. Gary Gunderson, holy crap. The fact that this guy only has how many? 170 subscribers? That won't do. That's not good enough. You guys got to go down and subscribe to that guy. Like... As far as firearms history and reviews go, I, like, he is, he is extremely, he's, he's good. He's very good at what he does, and his capacity for editing videos are phenomenal. Not only that, but his personality and his voice, he sounds like somebody that would have been alive in the 1920s. Just how he is. That's who he, that's who he reminds me of. Someone from the 1920s. He just strikes me as that. Great. Northwest weaponry. I love watching your stuff, dude. Knowing you, you're probably going to watch this video. And I'm going to say, I absolutely love watching your stuff. If you like Mill Serps and whatnot, definitely go check out his channel because, man, he's got, <laughs> he's got some toys that I wish I had. Not all of them are Mill Serps, mind you. I wish I had some of the modern stuff as well. But he's got some, some really fun. <laughs> Fun looking toys, and I do not envy the snow <laughs> that he has to deal with, that's for sure. There, there's a reason I'm in Florida. Next up, good old readiness reviews. This guy actually has like 2,500 plus subscribers at this point. Over 2,000. I don't know if it's quite up to 2,500 yet. But over 2,000 subscribers. He does MREs like I like to do. That's kind of how I found him. I was doing the MRE stuff and whatnot, but he also... Uh, reviews firearms, a lot of mill serps, uh, he cleans them up and whatnot. Uh, he's a really, really good guy. I haven't talked to him in a little while, but like I've said before, life happens, and sometimes things just get in the way. He's still uploading, so I know he's still alive. Hey, man, I hope you're all right. The content he puts out is absolutely 110% worth looking at. A lot of these channels right here, especially the ones that put out content on a normal basis, are ones that I legitimately watch on a normal basis. As a matter of fact, I've gotten a couple of ideas from a couple of these guys just from watching their videos. I'm like, hey, I'm not going to steal that idea, but I have a another idea based off of that because you know how like whenever you get drunk and you're just sitting back watching something and you just like kind of zone out and you're like man that would be a really cool idea <laughs> and you just got that from here despite the fact that you know your idea is all the way over there i'm rambling i'm sorry guys all right last but not least usna 98 us navy 98 this guy right here definitely deserves a lot more subscribers than what he has i've shouted i've given him a shout out before and he's climbed like 250 subscribers or 300 something like that He's climbed quite a few subscribers, but he's very mechanical. He enjoys taking apart v 
various military surplus rifles, cleaning them up, restoring them and whatnot. But he has an Arasaka that I would never personally shoot, but man, I would I would love to have that Arasaka. Oh god, it is it is just the best wall hanger that I have ever seen. It really is phenomenal. Type 38, I believe, so it's more than likely a Chinese front. Anyway, I'm rambling. I'll have to go through and watch that video again, because it's been a little while since I watched it. And whenever I watch it, I was about right here on my last bottle. So, not a lot of information retained on that one. But I know it's corroded as hell. Definitely not something I would feel comfortable shooting. But it is one wicked ass wall hanger. You'll have to go check that one out. Also, just saying, his voice... God damn. I wish I had a voice like that. I genuinely do. People tell me I should do radio, like, all the time, because my voice is like a radio voice. But this guy, this guy would, like... He, he should... He should... When Morgan Freeman finally passes away from old age, this guy should take his, <laughs> take his spot... Oh shit, Dave Maximilian just replied to my comment on his channel. Speak of the devil and he will show up. I'm I'm not calling him the devil. That's just that's just a saying. Don't go getting upset about that. I figure since I have a YouTube channel with a thousand subscribers, I would go ahead and do something for my other gun channels because one of the reasons that I made this gun channel was not only to well the main reason I did this was because I was doing it anyway and having a ton of fun and I figured I'd record it but as it grew into something the main reason why I invested into this channel was not only to bring a lot of valuable and entertaining information out onto the internet but I also wanted to inspire other people to start making their own content and whatnot uh, in terms of firearms, history, development, mechanics, uh, whatever it is that you're interested in, really. I mean, it doesn't... As, as long as it's not... We're just going to say as long as it's not hurtful. As long as you're not doing what the media does and making people hate each other, that's... Like, everything else is on the table. But by all means, if you're a gun guy and you have any sort of camera whatsoever, start a YouTube channel. Like, the amount of censorship that's going on right now, we need as many gun channels as we can get. Uh, my, my gun channel collaboration uh, endeavor, I guess is what I'm going to call it. The whole emphasis on that is to try and make so many gun channels that YouTube can't even you know, begin to censor us all. As a result of that, we will eventually get all of the information needed to the people that are completely ignorant to the firearms world. Of course, to be fair, the effectiveness on that is nowhere near the effectiveness that the Democrats held whenever they started... <laughs> Uh, their, their media mainstream with all the riots and whatnot, people were buying guns off the shelf so quickly that we are still in a significant ammunition and firearms recession. And we have several million new gun owners in the United States. So we have the numbers at this point. Hey, if any of you are new and you want to start a gun channel, now's the time. Whenever they're trying to shut us up, now's the time. Anyway, lady and gentlemen, uh, I think that right there is wrapping up my my 1,000 subscriber special. Uh, I, I could have like blown something up, I could have gone out and I could have just burned off a bunch of ammo, but ammo is stupidly expensive right now, and that's just not something I can do, especially seeing as I only have one Patreon. Not only that, but I do that in literally every other video that, that I make. I'm blowing something up, eating something, or like driving an old cougar. That, that's all my content on this channel. So I figure I'd go out of the norm and give some shoutouts to some people that definitely, genuinely deserve it. They're putting in the effort, and I am absolutely 110% more than willing to give them a little nudge to help them forward. Go subscribe to their channels, I guarantee you won't regret it.
there's a reason why they're climbing in subscribers. There really is. They're good at what they do. Uh, they'll probably surpass me before too terribly long, if I'm being honest. Okay, that's just because they're a lot better at what they do than I am. As my friend Josh told me, I am a man of very, very little talent but infinite willpower. And that's how I got to be where I'm at. How, <laughs> just 300 and something videos later. That's how I got to be where I'm at. No talent, infinite willpower. That's how it's done. Whenever I want something, I freaking achieve it. Every single time. I wanna be drunk. I'm gonna go start drinking this, watch old Disney movies, or may, ooh. Hold on. Yeah! Band of Brothers. <laughs> Hell yeah. I'm gonna go do this. Uh, probably edit and upload this because I'm at like 1,010 subscribers now. And if I procrastinate on this for any real point in time, then I'll have like 2,500 subscribers before I actually put this up. So I'm gonna go edit this real quick. Shouldn't take too terribly long. Uh, probably drink me some whiskey while I do it. You guys go off. Have a fantastic day. Sincerely, from the bottom of my heart, thank you for being around for this adventure. I never thought I'd make it to a thousand subscribers. <laughs> I gotta figure out a way to do what I do, but a bit more... Not necessarily professionally. I don't want to start, like, scripting or acting or anything. I gotta figure out how to make thumbnails better. I gotta figure out how to make intro scenes. Now I'm just rambling. I'm thirsty. <laughs> Bye, guys. I've done this. Bonnie and Clyde be damned. <laughs> the poor man's Garen. <laughs> Shame that bolt-action shotguns aren't uh, more mainstream.